Woke actor and gun control advocate Alec Baldwin is now facing even more trouble ahead of him after this entire insane story. So let's go ahead and get right into a damning FBI report on fatal shooting on Rust movie set spells potential trouble for Alec Baldwin. Things are not looking good for this actor. An FBI forensic report has reportedly concluded that the revolver that was used during the shooting... Um, could not have been fired without pulling the trigger. That is, yes, anyone who knows anything about guns knew that from day one. This isn't breaking news, but now it is looking like that this could spell further disaster for Alec Baldwin. The report comes in response to actor Alec Baldwin and the um, incident that happened on set of Rust where he, uh, had, he, he had live ammo in the gun that he had and everything else. The FBI report obtained by ABC News says that the 45 Colt revolver could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger. While in a quarter cocked position, a half cocked position, and a full cocked position. If the hammer on the revolver was in the decocked position, the firearm could discharge around by striking the hammer, which is the standard way that a revolver operates. Um, in an ABC News interview late last year with George Stephanopoulos, Baldwin said they pulled the hammer as far back as he could without cocking it, and that he then let go of the hammer, and bang, it goes off. Baldwin said in the interview that the trigger was not pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. I would never point a gun at anyone and pull the trigger at them. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, said very, uh, very much so by someone who obviously does not know anything about about these uh, these guns or anything like that, or really understands anything about um, you know how these work or you know anything, and will continue to try to take them away from other people who have never done what he did. The Washington Post published a fact check article after the interview that quoted various firearm experts who expressed skepticism over at Baldwin's claims. And not even you don't need to be an expert to have skepticism over this. I know I didn't. Um, so anyway, so they are still looking into all of this that's going on. Um, they are starting to find that they might have more incriminating stuff against Alec Baldwin. It is not looking good for this wokester. And uh, honestly, it is not a surprise to me because this is uh, an, an unfortunate situation. And it is something very terrible to happen that probably could have been prevented pretty easily. But unfortunately, this is where we are at. And uh, honestly, it's, it's the, the sad thing about all of this is that because of how corrupt our judicial system is, particularly in places like California, he probably is going to get off, you know, basically scot-free, which is the pathetic thing about this um, whole situation. Um, you know, Tubin got in more trouble for, uh, you know, um, <laughs> unloading his gun than Alec Baldwin will probably for this one, which is an unfortunate case, but that's where we are at with all of this. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.